argument. He was familiar with those rights to answer the patient, Russell himself. But Russell was known to the mother. Why more than an eye his daughter? Well, yes, but he found us allowed to respect the child in question would not exist. Now you're thinking like a lawyer. Yes, Miss Woods. Mr. Ellington makes an excellent point, but did the defendant keep a log of every admission made throughout his life? Interesting. Why do you ask? Well, unless the defendant attempted to keep contact with every encounter to find if a child resulted in emojis, and he has no parental claim over this child whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? I see your point. And by Mr. Huntington's standards, all omissions where this sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be called reckless abandonment. Miss Woods, you just won your case. Oh my God. Thank you. 